Hi, I want to talk to you about tracking the cycle and I want to get really specific. I'm not talking about tracking the cycle in this broad pursuer withdrawer kind of way, right? And when we track the cycle, we don't just do it once. Every single session, especially in stage one, and we want to get granular. We want to look at micro moves and we want to get really personal. So what does that look like? What does that mean? That means interrupting in the beginning of the session, hearing the story, hearing the lay of the land, hearing from both partners and interrupting and getting really specific. So, okay, maybe it's happening right now or as you tell the story, you can kind of visualize, you know, the thing that really set it off, the defensiveness that kind of told you, uh-oh, here we go again. And then what do I see next? Okay. So we're, we're actually getting really into the, um, nuances of that actual story, the live emotion, and we want to, um, track it in a very specific way in a very personal way. Right? So it's like, obviously we're not following content but we don't want to do the other thing where we get really broad in general and we tell ourselves, oh, we already did that. We tracked the cycle. No, couples need to hear and see themselves again and again and again and again. And that cycle needs to be tracked in this like very micro move. It's new every time. It's the same, but it's new. Does that make sense? It's like, okay, yes, here we go again but we're entering this different door. I like to think of content as like doors, right? We're going to go through this door. Maybe we're talking about sex, money, in-laws, parenting. I don't know. We're going through this door and as we track it and we get so specific about the protective mood, the attachment kind of intent, what do we find? It's the same thing. It's the same dance. It's the same themes. It's the same basic kind of um, longing and fear. So don't forget, this is what I'm seeing in supervision is that, um, people don't really know what it means to track the cycle in a very sort of granular personal way. You've got to do that. And when you do that, it sets the whole session up really well. It makes the getting to the tender part easier. It makes the enactment more organic. Um, and then even processing the blocks is like, oh yeah, we saw that in the start of the session when we were looking at the big picture. Okay, if you wanna know more, I'm getting super, super specific and I'm actually using deliberate practice in um, EFT. And so we're looking at how to do these interventions, how to move through the tango, like very, very specific um, moves on the therapist part. And it's so much fun. I'm having a blast and I want you to join me. If you are interested, it's only $10 a month. I mean, you can't beat that. Look at the description below this video. There's a link to subscribe. I cannot wait to see you there.